Hello everybody, this is Sam from Value Group, where we value businesses and we help people exit their business and buy other businesses. Today we're going to talk about a problem that is widespread at the moment and has been going on for many years, but it's going to get even more pronounced and harder moving forward really. Um, I've calculated there's around 800 to a million companies in this country alone suffering from this kind of thing. Um, whether you are thinking about selling your business or thinking about expanding and buying other businesses, you have to watch closely here because this is going to help you, hopefully. Now, the first characteristic that these close to a million companies have in this country is that they are owner operated. The same owner operator has been in the business, working in the business, knows the ins and outs of that business for the past 10, 20, 30 years. So they haven't thought about anything else. They've they set up their business back in the day and they've been running and own it and living from it for the past 10, 12, uh, 20, 30 years, sorry. So that's the first, the first thing. <clears throat> if you are going to be acquiring this business, there's two things you need to ponder. One is you have to replace them. Often, whenever I get hired by these people because they want me to make their business more sellable, they want <clears throat> my input. And one of the things I normally see is that everything, all the information of the business, it's up here. Nothing it's on paper, nothing is documented. Everything from the moment they open the business to the moment they leave the business, everything is in their head. All the processes, all the payroll, everything relies upon them. So you are going to have to start thinking about how you can replace them. The second thing is that they underpay themselves. So irrespective of the EBITDA or the seller's discretionary earnings or the net profit the business makes, these people often underpay themselves. They may take out £13,000 or £20,000 and pay themselves a dividend at the end of the year. However, if one of these companies, for example, makes six, £700,000 turnover and pays themselves £17,000, that's not a fair market wage for that business, for a business of that caliber. So you're going to have to readjust on the value of the business and make them understand that they are underpaying themselves. So you're going to have to take that net profit and adjust it, right? So that is another thing you'll have to, you'll have to think about. <clears throat> The second point is that there hasn't been any significant growth for many years. It gets to a point, um, I believe, in every entrepreneur's journey that they stop fighting and they stop risking as much. So whilst you can have a lot of this because there's a lot of effort put into the whole operation of the business, at some point, after someone turns 60, 62 years old, they kind of stay level. They don't grow. They don't want to risk. They don't want to buy another asset. They don't want to buy another uh, software uh, system. They don't want to hire another salesperson. They just, they're just they okay with the level. And they've, they've got maybe a handful of customers that they service on a yearly basis. And they don't want for nothing. Um, they won't complicate their life any further. So that's another thing. The business, it's all operated and it's stalled. It has no growth, right? Therefore, the management has been aging. On countless occasions, whenever I turn up <clears throat> on one of these businesses, I see aging management. So from the mid-management to the supervisor level, to the employees, everybody is of a certain age and they are entrenched and they, do, they don't really like change. They don't 
they, they don't want to progress at that point. They are happy, just like the owners, because they have been having no growth. So everything is kind of like level. So the aging management is something you're going to have to consider if you want to buy one of these companies. And if you want to sell one of these companies, you're going to have to ponder over these things and try to make your business more sellable, more attractive from a selling standpoint. The fourth thing I see here is a lot of these businesses are in fragmented sectors. So sectors like the nursery sector, den dental practices or care homes, they have lots of very small players like post offices, for example, lots of small players. And there's a few big players that like to acquire and get bigger and inflate themselves. So if you happen to be, say, window, uh, window cleaning, um, contract catering, that kind of thing, there's lots of players all over the country. So if you can make your business more sellable from, from all these points, or you spot a business that's own operated, hasn't had any growth for quite some time with someone who's with an owner operator that's closer to 70 than he is to 50, for example, that would be a perfect acquisition target. Remember that in the UK alone, 2,000 people turn 65 every single day every single day and lots of these people have businesses and a lot of these businesses are like these and this is going to be happening for the next 10 15 years so for the next 10 or 15 years somebody is going to turn 65 and their business is going to look like this so if you want to come along and buy a business like this the opportunity is huge. There hasn't been there hasn't been another opportunity like this in this country. Well, I, I don't know because I'm probably not old enough to, to to realize, but the opportunity is there and it's massive. And if you're trying to sell your business, you have to gather your bearings and you have to know what you're doing. You can't just wing this because there's people like me and sophisticated buyers that'll analyze where you are all your processes, how your business looks like beyond what you think that your business is worth will analyze all these things and will disarm you. So you have to be prepared and you have to be ready for when those negotiations uh, and those talks commence. So hope you found that helpful. And uh, if you want to value your business or you want to sell your business or you want to buy another business, maybe one like this, uh, do get in touch. I'm on 0191-603-1490 or on valueyourcompany.co.uk. 0191-603-1490. Thank you.